Hi, I'm Tim Olson with Dent Terminator. Thank you for watching today. We're actually going to talk about hail damage and you know how to make the claim go as smoothly as you possibly can. Uh, I just read an article that I thought you'd be interested in, and, and you know what should you do? You kind of hear the things about well, first you should call your agent. Some people say don't do that; it's it's a waste of time. And some some say go get three estimates. Is all that true? Well, let me show you what I found. This was an article. Uh, it's actually in a Texas newspaper, and uh, it says insurance agent breaks down storm damage and in insurance claims. And so he's basically saying here's what you should do uh, in a in a hailstorm, and if your roof or your house gets gets damaged. And so he's telling people to. Uh, make the first call is actually, he says, the first call should be to your agent. So let's talk about that for just a second. Um, is that the best way to go? It, it can be. I mean, what I'm going to tell you today is, is it, maybe your agent, you play golf with him, and maybe he even lets you win, uh, and you might be best best friends with him. And so maybe you want to call him. But what he's saying in the article is that you need to know your deductible. Well, I recommend you know your deductible kind of going in, uh, and that's important. So you might call him there to find out the, the deductible if you get a hail incident. But what he's also saying is that, you know, let's get that claim going. In other words, let the agent get the claim going. And is that the right move? Well, it might be, and it might not be. Uh, you know, the second thing is, is he says, go get three estimates. And I can tell you for sure that's probably not uh, the right thing to do, and I'll give you the reason here in a minute. But So let's talk about letting him file the claim. Well, uh, once he tells you your deductible, if it's 500 maybe you want to go ahead and file the claim. If you look at your car... And you can see just like, I mean, there's dents on it that are very visible in the sunlight. It's probably going to be over 500. Uh, and in fact, it's probably going to be north of 1,000, north of, of, of two, three, 4,000 even if you can see them outside. So you probably want to file a claim then if you know you're going to want to get it fixed. Now, if you, if you can't see the damage and it hailed and you're like, I don't know, did it hail or not? Well, it wouldn't be a great idea to get that claim going because it may or may not count against you. So that's the time when you want to bring it to Dent Terminator, which by the way, uh, if you do have hail on your car, go to TulsaHail.com. So remember the location and what you got, TulsaHail.com, and that'll take you to us. It will help you out. But so thinking about, you know, bring it to us. In other words, uh, let us look at it first, and we'll give you an idea quickly. Is it actually going to be above your deductible or not? Now, the other thing is uh, that they tell you to, to go get uh, three estimates. And, and here's why that doesn't actually work, okay? So there's there's... Two sections of two with two reasons each. Okay, so the first part is is the most frustrating for for you as as a client, and, and really the agent should know this. But what happens in a storm is it's either going to be a catastrophe, or it's not going to be a catastrophe. And so what I'm going to take is a, let's say that only a few cars get damaged in your town. Okay, so that's not a catastrophe, and so it's going to be handled by by the local people. But what happens is once the agent files that claim. Uh, then the insurance company, whoever you're with, is going to say go to X body shop and go get an estimate because they've already got those partnership agreements with those body shops. And no matter what you do, it's not going to matter. You can go get your three estimates, four estimates if you want to, but you're still going to wind up back at X body shop. Now, do you want to do business with those guys? Uh, you might. You might not. I, I would say that, you know, because they're in a partnership with the insurance company, it, it you know, to me that gives me pause, okay? But especially today, it's not as common as it used to be. But the second thing is that, uh, remember, this is a non-catastrophe event, so you, you're frustrated because you went and got these three estimates, and, and, and they're all over the map, right? They're all kind of all over the, the price-wise, but it doesn't matter because you got to go to this guy. Now, so which of the body shops do you choose? I mean, are you going to choose based on price and all that? Well, uh, you might, and we'll come back to that. So, but think about this for a minute. So we, we mentioned two instances. One's a non-catastrophe, which we just told you. You're going to go to X body shop. Now let's talk about a catastrophe. And so what is a catastrophe? That just basically means that there's more than X number of cars in your town that got hit with hail. Okay, so maybe it's 100 cars is the threshold, maybe 500 claims. But, you know, if their phone rings off the hook that first one or two days, then they'll file a catastrophe or declare it is what I should say. And when, once they do that... Now nobody can write an estimate on it. Only the, cat the catastrophe team uh, that they send in can write estimates on it. So that being the case, you know, now all that legwork, again, that you did is pretty much a waste of time because you've still got to go take and get it back and looked at. So what I'm kind of trying to do is make this smooth for you, not waste a bunch of time. Because the third thing that happens 
is, I don't know if I'm third or fourth, honestly, sorry. But, uh, but the other thing that happens is that you take it and go get those three estimates and those body shops, they kind of know already the game. So now they've got a choice. They can either explain to you what I just told you, or they can just go ahead and write you an estimate and, you know, send you on your way and maybe send you a card, maybe a brochure that tells you why they're, they're better than X, Y, Z. But the, the estimates you'll notice are kind of all over the map. And so here's what happens. Either the estimate, estimator goes through it real quick and he kind of just says it's, you know, it's this on the panel, this on the panel, this on the panel, or he actually goes ahead and uh, writes a thorough estimate. So maybe the thorough estimate is going to be the highest estimate, but now you went to another shop when he didn't write a thorough estimate. And so you're thinking, well, I mean, why is he up here and why is he down here? You know, what's going on here? And so what I'm telling you is that it's almost like a throwaway, right? So uh, once the car is actually getting fixed, then it's going to get priced exactly as it should be. And the way that that happens is through supplements. And a supplement is basically the hell, you know, no matter what was what happened on the first estimate or even when you were told to go to the CAT team or you were told to go to the body shop that the insurance company told you to go to, then once it goes to the shop of your choice, which hopefully you choose not based on price, but you choose them based on quality and reputation, then once you take it to that shop, then they'll supplement it to where it should be, and that's going to have to happen no matter what almost in most instances with hail. So hopefully you understand that you know it may be a good idea to call your agent uh, when you get a hell claim, but only to find out your deductible. Probably ne don't necessarily want him to get the, the uh, claim going. Uh, and definitely don't want to get those three estimates, uh, on, at least not on your time, because you'll be wasting that time because you've still got to go at some point to the either to the CAT team or to the shop that the insurance company has chosen. So once you get that, now once you get that in initial prelimin preliminary estimate, then you can decide. And please don't decide based on the fact that they sent you there because that's not really a credible source. Um, you know, their partnership with the insurance company should not be the reason why you choose that company. Please choose them for their quality and their reputation. But once you have that either from the cat team or from the body shop that they chose, once you have that, now you can go anywhere you want to. And you can, you can go to the body shop of your choice. That's actually your right as a citizen of the United States. So hopefully this helps you with a hail damage claim. I hope I didn't talk uh, too confusing. But anyway, if you like this video and you think it's worth sharing, uh, somebody that might have a hail claim or might have one in the future, please do so. And again, TulsaHail.com, and we'll see you on the next video.